Hi guys, welcome back to the series Night Watch. In this video, this is a lecture 8 and we are going to learn about how to use XPath and CSS. Okay, so let's go to our website. Okay, so now for this one we are using this website. Okay, so just copy this path. Okay, this website link. Okay, just copy this one and paste in the new folder okay first we will create one folder let's create new file and we will give it a name of uh, css 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 underscore xpath okay just give css underscore xpath dot js don't forget to give dot js it is very important okay otherwise it won't run okay now we will open that url and then we will use the xpath and css okay so let's keep the syntax module dot exports okay inside this we will give the test case name css underscore xpath colon we will pass browser inside the function okay and then we will see first what we have to do we have to open the browser okay first step browser dot url you already know how to open the browser so I'm not going to explain every steps and don't forget to give this semicolon this is a good practice and we have to write we have to give some pause okay browser dot pause give some for second for example okay let's run it okay go to the command prompt okay we have to change the file name okay this is the file name we are going to change the file name uh, file name is css css underscore xpath dot js don't forget to give dot js okay otherwise it won't run we have to give the complete file name to run this script okay now it will open the xpath uh, xpath underscore css underscore xpath yeah now you can see the website okay now what we have to do see for previous lecture we are working on css as i told you night watch uh, by default we are using uh, css but now if we want to use the xpath then how can we use that okay so let's first we will see the example of css also in this tutorial let's see these things first and then we will convert it to the xpath okay uh, let's find this element first okay right click inspect just go to this one and select this input text okay right click copy first we will copy the selector okay go to the visual studio we will give one variable of constant uh, constant uh, of variable name uh, css and then we will give the css part okay now again we will create one constant variable of xpath variable name okay and then here we will give some value of Yes, uh, x path okay just right click sorry yeah we have to right click here copy and then copy the x path okay go to the code paste here why this is coming here because you see like there are double course and double code two times just make single single course inside and double course outside you can do vice versa as well okay single course outside double course inside you can do that one also so what we did here now we just created one variable css of constant type and we have pasted a value okay we have pasted the selector path now here the same thing we have pasted the x path okay now uh, send the value okay browser dot okay so for uh, sending value we are using set value right set values okay uh, browser dot set values and uh, uh, we have uh, we are using css first okay let's see css because we already seen C css path so we will start with this only first then we will go to the x path okay and then we have to give the text uh, we are going this is css for an example semicolon and we have to give some pause let's copy this browser dot pause and paste here okay we are increasing some pause 
value just make it 6000 okay save it and run it let's see okay now you can see okay we have some issue browser dot set value what's your set value is not a function okay 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 yeah we don't need to give the set value we have to give the set value okay my mistake no problem we will run it again quickly we will run and see okay now you can see uh, an input field is there and uh, with this uh, we are pasting this is css okay because this is a by default we can use it now suppose i will show you some in interesting fact there okay now remove the csn and give xpath and run it okay run it and see how it is behaving so as i told you the css is a by default but xpath we can't use directly okay so it will give an error let's see the error type what type of error we are getting in the command prompt we will see and then we will resolve that issue it is taking time because we have given pause yeah now we can see we are getting error like no such element error okay it means like we can't use xpath directly but we want to use xpath so how to use that one so there is one function we can use browser dot use xpath okay this is the function we can use now we will run this code okay let's see uh, we are getting error or it is running successfully so this website has opened now and in input field uh, this is css wow we got it so you can see like xpath also we can use by using this function okay now clear the value okay now clear the value clear the value and then we'll see okay first clear how to clear the value browser dot okay uh, first we will clear the value okay uh, so browser dot clear values okay browser dot clear values and then we will pass the x path or uh, not in double quotes because we already we are using here variable okay don't uh, confuse why we are not giving double quotes and the x path because we already uh, store this x path here okay so no need to use this double quote inside double quotes we can use directly x path variable okay give browser dot pause okay of how much second uh, give it uh, seven second okay run it Okay, let's run it so it will open the piece oh we have error oh, we have error we have error clear values is not a function okay clear values is not a function set value clear value clear value is not a function it is saying so remember i have shown you how to clear a value right let's see how to clear a value okay if not a value it should be value okay <clears throat> just remove s and run it again silly silly mistake i am doing but yeah you have to be confident while writing the syntax okay uh, this is css for the first time then it should remove this value okay you can see it's removed the value and now it will close the browser yes that is fine but 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 we want to but we want to set value again okay but we want to set value again again okay using css now using css and then we will have this is css <coughs> okay this is css again okay this is xpath and this is css again okay let's see let's see how it is behaving just run it okay it has opened the browser again and in this field it will give this is css oh this is xpath because we are using xpath here okay now it will clear the value okay now it will take from css vector
yes it will fail let's see why it will fail okay i will show you see again no such element error okay we know that x path is uh, sorry css is by default but due to this function uh, we are forcefully saying okay due to this function x path is now become default okay now x path is default one because of this function so if you want to use css again then we have to use the css function okay browser dot use c x path okay oh not x path sorry css capital c small ss okay let's see this is the correct function or not save it and run it i have given some uh, reference here also i will show you that link as well but just see here. you can see here use css is a function okay so it is it is given x path then it will clear this value and now uh, using again css we are writing the value so you can see uh, the timing is very less uh, let me increase some value uh, given some pause okay let me given some keep some pause here okay save it now run it again so let's conclude this uh, tutorial first so what we are doing here we know that x path uh, css is uh, default okay but if you want to use x path then we have to use this function okay use use x path okay so you can see here an input field empty now it will fetch the css again css again okay so now i think you got it i will conclude it one more time because i i think like most of the people will fill some doubt here so first what i am doing to do in this tutorial i am going to use x path css is by default i i am going to use uh, x path so using x uh, for to use x path we have this function okay browser dot use x path okay this will give you the x path authority now you are using x path and then we are clearing the value of that x path okay now again we are using css but we can't use css directly we know that css is default but with this help of function we have changed x path as a default okay so we have to use browser dot use css to make css again a default okay and then this time uh, we can uh, use css okay so i hope you got clear if you have any doubt just ping me in that comment i will give you the answer okay so in this video that's all guys uh, we'll see in the next lecture happy learning